to make sure you don't have any weapons on you. No, 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 just stick around. Eat, eat. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Crime Circus. My name's Drip Drop, and I'll be your host this evening. You've just made it to part four of a four-part series. If you haven't seen the other three videos, make sure you check out my channel. This case is about two cold-blooded assassins out of Orlando, Florida. And here's the interrogation of a witness. Let's jump right into this and see what they have to say for themselves. <clears throat> I just have to make sure you don't have any weapons on you. No, 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 just stick around. Put your hands down. Get a... What's that, a lighter? Yeah. Okay, all right, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, this is where we're at. Um, I appreciate you com coming down here. I appreciate you talking to me. Yes, sir. Um, from what I understand, you, you tried to come down here a couple times, but ain't nobody told me until it was too too late. Yeah, I can I like like three or four times. All right, well, I, I, we, we had a severe miscommunication going on. Um, the last time I spoke to you, we talked about a bunch of things, but yeah. so before I talked to you, I had to make sure that you, you, you understand your rights, all right? I know you came down here all, all voluntarily, but, you know, I, I, the last time I told you, I said, you know, there, there might be some charges coming, so I just want to make sure that, that you understand that, right. that, 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 you know, that you came down here all voluntarily, but I still have to make sure that you understand your rights, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you. You have the right to talk to a lawyer now before any question and during quite questioning. If you, well, hang on, I messed it up. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Anything you say can be used against you. Do you, you understand that? Yes, sir. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before and during questioning. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. If you cannot afford a lawyer and want one, one will be pro pro provided for you before any question without charge. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. But you came down here all by yourself, so no one threatened you or promised you or, or, or anything, right? Yes, sir. Yes, they did threaten you? Or? They okay. did. Okay. <clears throat> I told you we were going to go through your film, right? Yes, sir. And last time you were here, you, you just flat out lied, right? No, sir. Were you home on that night? Yes, sir. And you're going to tell me that you didn't use your, your GPS to, to get up there? No, sir. Do you know, um, I don't know, what's his name? Hmm. You know who, who who that dude is? No, sir. You don't know Nicholas? <laughs> okay. Well, he knows you. He refers to you as his boy. Do you know where Nicholas is now? Uh -oh. Okay. He's, he's at the Orange County Jail. And right before he went to Orange County Jail, he sat in this same exact seat. This is, yeah, th this is room number six. Sat in that same exact seat yesterday. Yes, and he told us the whole story about how he lost his phone. He used your phone to find, to, to use to find, find my, my yeah, iPhone? My phone? Yes. Uh, not, not only that, but do you, do you know how, how a phone works? Uh-oh. Do you know it has, call people. do you know it has G, GPS in it? No. Yeah, it does. It does. So, um, dude, I told you that I was investigating the, the murder, right? Yeah. You knew that this was a, 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 a cap, capital crime investigation, a, a, a murder, a murder investigation, right? Like you said, a capital. Yeah. I, well, you knew there was a murder investigation, right? No. You don't remember me telling you that the first time in the probation office? You said you said you didn't say a murder thing. Like okay. you were like it's like a dinner box stolen cars. That was you, okay. you told yes. me. Yes, I told you that those cars were stolen in in Ocala. Yeah. And I didn't. I, I don't even have the jurisdiction to arrest you for stealing cars in Ocala. Yeah. All right. I don't. I don't have that. 
I couldn't arrest you for, for stealing cars if I wanted to. Yes, sir. But a few hours after those cars were stolen, one of those cars was used in a murder. So this is what I'm telling you. This is a murder investigation, and you're lying in a murder investigation. You yes, said. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to tell you, I don't got anything to do with a murder. Okay, well... Well, well, you kind of do now because you're you're. I'm doing a murder investigation, and you're lying in that. If that car was using the murder a couple of hours right right before it, it, it was stolen, that brings you into the murder investigation. It brings you all up in, into it. So, can we can we can we change gears a little bit and start and start being honest? Right. Like, I'll tell you. You say you trying to basically say I'm inside. I'm inside a murder. We don't got anything to do with a murder. Okay, if that car was used in the murder, I want to know everything about that car. Yes, sir. And and if you lie about that, you you become an accessory after the fact in that murder. Yes, sir. Do you, do you understand that part? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to ask you again about about that car. When you guys went up to Ocala, what happened to those cars afterwards? I never went to Ocala. Okay. I anticipate you you saying that. In exchange for for that, allow me to show you this. This is an arrest warrant. This is an arrest warrant for for you. It is signed by signed by a judge. You're charged with accessory after the fact first degree murder and providing false information in the capital felony investigation. That carries that carries a life sentence. So you are more worried about stealing cars. Than the rest of your life, you you know you ain't gonna get shit for for stealing cars. Yes, sir. You're you're wrapped up in a murder now. This is your warrant. You are not leaving here. You're you're gonna go to Orange County Jail now. You already have a warrant out for for your arrest because now you're involved in in this murder. And all I want to know is what happened to those cars afterwards. I told you I want to you know, know, sir. Do you know what Nicholas said when when when, when he sat there? He said the same thing that you did. Except when he saw this, he said, "Oh shit! Let me be, let me be honest. Let me tell you the truth." Yes, sir. He's not charged with any of this. Do you, do you know why? Because he didn't lie. This is lying. This is lying in a homicide investigation. I told you I want that, sir. Your phone showed that you used your GPS to get that group up yes, there sir. to Ocala. Your phone and Nicholas sat here. And, and and your phone evidence shows that he used your phone to call. Then you handed him your phone, and he dialed in and pushed his personal email account number to do find my iPhone. And he sat there and said he still wasn't able to find it, so he said, fuck it, let's just leave. And then he went home and reported his phone stolen. So he sat here and told the truth. He's at the Orange County Jail for a whole other thing. He avoided this. Do you want to avoid this? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you, like, do you like want? This, do you, like so, are, are, are you more worried about stealing cars that I can't charge you with, or do you want? I can charge you in this. I, I am charging you in this. You're you're wrapped up in the shit, man. You're wrapped up in it. All right. You're more worried about a stolen motherfucking car than the rest of your life. It's right here. It's right here in front of you. What, what are you more worried about? Stealing cars or spending 25 years in prison? That's right here. Okay. Then do, do the right thing for, for you. This is about this person here. All right? Yes, sir. The next five minutes is going to, to determine the next 25 years of your life. Now, do you want to start being honest about something that I can't even char charge you for? Yes, sir. All right. Tell me what, what, tell me what happened. Like... It was like we went to Ocala. They were still they were still in the car. Okay. And when they were still in the cars, like that's when we had I had left. But I went with them when they I ain't never I never went outside the thing and stole cars with them. You now you know there's video up up there, right? Yes sir, but I'm never I ain't I ain't never going to light and still in the car with them. But you were standing up up there. You have this a distinct look. I wouldn't know. I okay. wouldn't know a standard. Okay, tell like, me about it. 
Like how they went, they went on the lot and went to steal the cars, and when they stole the cars, that's when everybody went to leave it, and I had left them. So when I left them, that's when I had left my phone. I had left my phone with them, so they could use my phone just to get back to where they got to go at, and that's when I went to the house. But okay. I never know about like a murder, like a murder thing that was going on in the car or anything. Cause I went never stealing the car. Okay. So you went up to Ocala. Yes, sir. Okay. Which car were you in? I was in. I was in the truck. Well, it's it's an it's an SUV, right? No, it's like a pickup truck. It, it, it's a pickup truck. Yes, okay. Sir. Who who was driving? I was driving. Okay. Whose pickup truck was it? I I already know, so it don't it don't it don't even matter. Yes, sir. Whose pickup truck was it? It was a stolen truck. Yes. Okay. So you you drove the, the stolen truck up there. Yes, sir. Who was with you in the car? It was me. Like two other people. No shit. Who were the two other people? It was me. I think no one Miguel. Mm-hmm. And and um the one who had just the one you had said. Well, that's not entirely true. Keep in mind that you're the last person that we spoke to, right? Yes, sir. So don't don't try to cover for for nobody. All right? This isn't about covering for 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 people. Who was that? That's Miguel. Okay. What do you know know him as? I know I know about Miguel. Okay. Try to go to school with him. So who was in the truck with with you? Me and Miguel and then the other boy. Who? The one who you had said. The one that you had showed me the first person. Nicholas? Well, Hi. I don't know him as Nicholas, though. What do you know him as? I know him as Twin. Twin? Okay. Who was in the other car? Um, it was like... It was like four other people. Mm-hmm. But, we, but it, wasn't, it, like, it wasn't my people who I know. No, but you know who they were. No, I never. I don't know. Like I don't know who they was, but I just know like the um, <coughs> who I was with. They know them. Like they had connects with them. Who was in the other car? I just told you one. Like I didn't know who they were, but it was the other. Like you know something about them. Remember, this is the rest of your life, man. Yes, sir. This is the rest of your life. Do you need to see that signature again? That's that's the judge's signature. What does that say? None. None. No bond. All right. Yes, sir. You need to get yourself out of this. And, yes, and telling stories ain't ain't gonna help it. All right, you're not tattling on on anyone else. You're saving yourself from from 25 years. Yes, sir. All right, I I know who who everyone was because do you know where Miguel is now? Yes, sir. Where? In jail. For for what? The a murder thing. Yes, he's facing first degree murder. Yes, sir. First degree murder. That's 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 punishable by execution. Or life in prison. Yes, sir. You don't think that he told it all? Huh? Yes, sir. All right. He he told it all. He told me whose people they 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 were. All right. Yes, so if you're gonna sit here and lie to me, what's that say there? Accessory yes, to first degree murder. All right. It's just paperwork. Yes, just sir. paperwork to me. But it's the rest of your life. Who was in that other car? It was. Uh, we call him Lou. Um, um, Ray. Yeah, I'm trying to see what his cousin name. Yeah, Whose cousin is it? Ray. I mm -hmm. can't remember what his cousin name is. I can't remember what the cousin name. Do you do you have them? Do you have any of them on your phone? Uh uh. How how'd you get in touch with them? I had like we go to go to their house. Okay. Where where's the house at? In Richmond Heights. Where at in Richmond Heights? That's a big place. Like like by the red and white store. It's what's like it? by a daycare. Are you familiar with that? Oh, 
King Cole? Mm, I don't know what King Cole. I just know it like like you coming like when you coming down Riley, it's like a red and white stool. Like on the back street. They call it <coughs> red and white. Uh, 4167 Raleigh, the convenience store there with the, the barber shop, I think, next door. Right, no, not right at the one. end of Cozart? No, not down. Before you get there. Now, I like a little, like you coming up to, before you get Popeye and stuff, like a little street right here. Oh, oh, oh way back there. Oh, by Bruton. Yeah. So if you turn by the Popeyes and you go around, then there's a there's a sharp turn to the left. Is it down around there? No, not that street. It's on the other side. Okay. On the well, other side of Popeyes? Yeah, like you know where the sit go sit out on the corner. Yeah, it's like a street before you get the sit go. Uh, would you know the name of the street if you heard it? Uh uh, I didn't know like how to get there. Bef so it's off of Raleigh by Popeyes. No, like, like say Popeyes right here, and if I'm coming up, it's gonna be a street that you turn on before you get to Popeyes. Ola Drive. Before you get before you get the the sit go. Ola. Coming up from which way? From John Young? If you're coming from John Young or if you're coming from Kirkman? Coming like from Kirkman Way. Okay. Like if you're coming from Kirkman Way and coming up. Florence. Florence or Florence or Hent, uh, Henton. Okay. Henton is right before Popeyes. So what do you know about Lil Ray and his cousin? Who uh, who who stays there? Ray? Yeah, Ray. Ray and his cousin be there. Who who they stay there with? Um, I think it's his. I think it's uncle or something. Kind of been inside just like we'll pull up to the house gonna get them. Okay, what color is the house? I want to say white, like white and bluish. Okay, so you guys go up there. Who who goes onto the lot? They go basically. They go into the lot. Like, I know the consequences of things, so that's why I tell them like, y'all just can do what y'all want to do. Cause I already know I've been in jail for that kind of stuff, so that's why I tell them like, y'all go ahead and handle what y'all got to do. Okay, but you knew that they were going to steal cars. Yeah, like I, like, like I know, I know that they were stealing cars, but I ain't know like what they was, what they was going to do in the cars. You, like, okay, okay, okay. Did you um, and you used your GPS to to get up there? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, and then uh, and you parked right right next door. Yes, sir. And so what happened next? Like they get they get the cars and then they going like going towards how, Orlando way. How many cars did they get? They got two cars. Okay, what what color were they? It was a it was a blue Camry and a white Camry. Okay, do you know who was driving the uh, blue Camry? The blue Camry. Um, Miguel driving the blue camera, okay. and and uh, twin his friend was in the white camera. Okay. Do you know um, who who's twin's friend? Um, what's his name? Lou. Lou. Okay. Um, do you know how Miguel got got cut? No, sir. Okay. He he told the story how how he got cut and he bled all over the inside of that. That that blue car. Okay, so what happens next? After they get the car, that's when they go to Orlando. And how how'd you get to Orlando? On the turnpike or down fifty? Um, it's like I think they got on the turnpike. That's like the highway going from on Wild, well, Wildwood way. Yeah. Yeah, like that way. Is that how you got up there too? No, I don't think we went that way. I think it was another way. Okay, but you went back on the turnpike. Yes, sir. Okay. Going toward going home. And where did you go next? After we left there, I had got dropped off at my house. And after I got dropped off at my house. Yeah, you were driving, right? Yeah. So who who took the uh, truck? Um Twin. Twin had got the truck. I thought Twin was in the in the white camera. Yeah, he got the truck though, like when I got dropped off. So he followed you over there? Yes, sir. Uh where where did the blue car go? I don't know where the blue car went. I just know twin followed me to my house, and then once he followed me to my house, that's when the other car they had left off because they said they were going somewhere else. What was the the other car? You said what was the other car? Yeah. Uh, it was like the same car, like a Camry. Yeah, but there's another car that was involved too, an SUV. 
I don't know about an SUV. What? Okay, so you you guys drove up in the pickup truck. What what did they drive drive up in? It was in I think an SUV. What you talking about? Okay. Do you know what what kind of SUV it was? I can't remember. Whose car was that? I think I was the one new car. You sure that car wasn't stolen too? Base, I think basically like all of the cars were stolen. Okay. Do you know if it was stolen or you think it was stolen or you don't know? Oh, really? Like, how, how I think, how I think the car stolen, like, if you drive, if you driving to go do something in it. Okay. Right? Okay, so you don't know where that car went no, or sir. where the blue car went? No, sir. But the last time you saw that blue car, that Miguel had it? When we were leaving from Ocala on the highway. And that's, is that the last time that you saw it? That's when they flew past. Who's who's that? Miguel and, it was Miguel and I think Ray cousin. They were the ones driving in there. So Miguel's and, Miguel and Ray's cousin were in the blue car? Yes, sir. And then that SUV was being driven by who? Because we, we, we ran out of folks there. Mm. It was one more, I think it was, some, it was somebody else in the truck. Who was that? What is it? Oh yeah, Bryce. That's what was in the truck. Was it? Bryce. Who's Bryce? That would, that would call him Bryce. The name Bryce. Who was he? Like, he was our homeboy. Like, he was hanging around him. Okay, so tell me about Bryce. If he's your homeboy, like Bryce, like Bryce, the same way. Like he's always like he always around. We around. Where's he stay at? Only thing he know. Only thing. Only know where he stay. What's his last name? I can't remember. I don't remember his last name. Did you go to school with him? Nah, he older than like he older than me like <coughs> with twin. So he's friends with twin. Yeah. What does um? So twin is that? What does Lou look look like? He like he's short. How short? Like probably about five. About five nine, five ten. That's short? Yeah. How tall are you? Like five eleven. Okay. But how how old is he? I think like twenty. How does he keep his hair? He got like little twists. You have any goals or, or anything? I think I like two, like two right here. Where and where does she stay at? I think Hastings. In between Hastings and Powers. Okay, so tell me about Ray. How 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 tall is Ray? Uh, how, how much does Lou weigh, weigh about? Is he thin, heavy? He like a little heavy set. Okay, so Ray, how how tall is Ray? Ray like like probably like my height, five eleven. How much does he weigh? Like probably like one five. He like skinny. So probably like one one twenty, some one thirty. That's skinny. About how old is he? I'm gonna say like Seventeen. And how do you keep his hair? He just have, he just have like a low high cut. Anything special about him? Tat tattoos, beard? No, I think he got no no tattoos, no beard. How about his cousin? You don't remember Ray's cousin, but what's his? What's he look like? He fat. How tall is he? About. He about. Um, 
He probably like a little taller than me, about five or something. Well, if you're 5'11, once you get past 5'11, you're at six foot. Is he six, six foot tall? Yeah, I think I'm at six foot. How? Um, uh, how old is he? He should be like 19, 20. Okay. And what about anything particular about him? Uh uh. How does he keep his his hair? He got a little haircut too. Okay, Bryce. Oh wait, where where where, where does Ray stay again? Right, right. The bottom, red and white store. Okay, that's the red and white store. And his cousin live in the same place. Yeah. Tell me about Bryce. Bryce like he like six feet. How much does he weigh? Like one. I said like one. 150, so I'm 60. How old is he? Race, like 20, like 22. Where does he stay at? I don't know where Bryce stay. Cause every time I was saying, he always on the street. You know what section of town he lives in? Motown, Malibu, Paramore, Crosstown. Oh. I don't really know that. I mostly like Sam. I always really like my Popeyes and stuff. Okay. How does he keep his hair? He got a low haircut. cut. What did you hear about what, what Miguel got in trouble for? They said, like, when I was looking at the news and my grandma, me and my grandma was talking, she was like, yeah, like it was, it had to do something with the killing, like that happened on Ivy Lane, mm -hmm. and then, let's see, <coughs> like that's when she, that was like when we was in the, like when she was talking to me, like she saw, like we saw, they had a long talk today, so she asked me like, do you like, you know who he is and stuff? I'm like, yeah, that I went to school with him, and that's when we were just steady started talking, and then she was like, oh yeah, he had something to do with the killing with uh, some man named George, and did, that's when did you know George? No, like, I seen George around though. Like, I seen more I've laying around, but I ain't never like know him like how people right. did. Yes, sir. So you did you speak to Miguel after the murder? Like did he say anything about it? Uh uh. -uh. I ain't never heard about the murder. Let me show you a picture, see if you know who this guy is. You know who that is? Yeah, I seen I seen him around. They called him Lucky. Okay, so you know Lucky? I seen him around, but it ain't like I, like, you know how you have be friends with people and just like right. I ain't never like getting on like that though. Was he up there that the, the day that you guys were stealing cars? No, sir. Did you ever see Miguel hanging out with him? I think I seen I think I seen him at Miguel house like a couple times. Okay, like he'll come like. You'll see Miguel, like you'll see Miguel, like one minute Miguel will be hanging with me or come around me, and then one minute he'll be like, oh, he finna go. And after he leave, that's when he just like, he don't never, he don't never call or we talk to him when he get around, I think. So he should be with him. What, what do you know about Lucky? I didn't know, I didn't know he'd be, you'd be at Big B's. I think he used to sell weed and stuff. But I ain't like, getting to know a lot of people like, know people like, how they tight with him and stuff. When was the last time you saw Lucky? I ain't been, I ain't like, I ain't been seeing him. The last time I saw him was like, I said about almost like two months, cause he was with Miguel. Like almost, probably like a month and a half, two months. Did you hear anything on the street about him being involved in that murder? No, sir. Okay. <clears throat> well, unfortunately, this is where we were at. Yes, sir. This is a warrant issued by a judge. Yes, sir. I did not have the power to pull this back. If you had given me this information the first time, you wouldn't have this warrant. Yes, sir. The only thing that I can do 
is talk to the uh, prosecutor and say that you you decided to come around and do the right thing. Yes, sir. But I can't supersede. I, I can't go over what a judge has has already ordered. Yes, sir. All right. So you have to go to thirty third now. All right. That's out of my out of my hands. You're the one who sat there in your probation office, and and, and you lied about the, all, all that. Yes, sir. If, if you had told me that story in, in the first place, this would all be gone. Yes, sir. All right. So when you're sitting there, you have no one to blame but yourself. Yes, sir. Okay. I wish you would just told me that story, because I would have been done. I would, been, you, you'd be home now. All right. Yes, sir. So give me a couple minutes. So they're going to take me to the third. Yes. Well, you come, you come and going for me, and then is she, is she, is she downstairs? No, sir. I'll, I'll call her for you. What's, what's your number? I think four seven, two eight five. Twelve, twelve thirty. What's your grand grandma's name? Darlene. I have one question. Hmm? I have one question. Yeah. Why didn't you tell the truth the first time? Like, ain't no like, like it was. I know, but, but what difference does it make what you knew, you know, about the murder? Or you didn't know anything that it was connected to the murder. Why, why not just tell the truth? Like, ain't like, ain't never like been into nothing like. How this really going on? Like, I know, but my gum and my gum already know like how many like when when this stuff like come on me. That's when I get like scared. Like, I don't be really knowing like what's like. The, I just yeah, I get it. But I mean, people lie to try and keep themselves out of trouble, and it and this is what happens. They get themselves in more trouble. I mean, when a cop and I know it's probably hard for you to believe, but when we tell you tell the truth, it makes it, your life easier. We're not lying. And I'm already on probation, so like, I don't know if my probation is going to violate me or anything. Yes, or it's, it's, it's violated. I've already been in touch with Ms. Gwendolyn, and you are in violation. But, you know, I, I, I give you every, every opportunity. I, I, I really did. And then, and then when Gomez said you were coming to the house, but every time I come here, like, it ain't like you ain't over here. Well, no one told me that you were here. I came out the same lady that I was just talking to. I came out here like four times, and she kept and she kept saying that you that you say you was here and you was okay. coming and everything. But, but but think about this. First first start. I, I I was here now. We came upstairs. What's the first thing that that you did to me? You you lied, right? Yes, sir. It would would have made a difference, right? If I if I didn't have this, would you have been been honest? No. Right? Yes, sir. All right, well, you know, this is, you know, I I thought I made it clear that when I talk, talked to you in the probation office that I wasn't after you. In fact, I, I have it all audio taped. I said, I'm not after you. I'm not after you. There was another crime that, that occurred. Yes, sir. And that crime was a murder. And you remember me explaining to you about a capital felony investigation that you could lie in other cases and it doesn't really mean a whole lot? Yes, sir. I mean, it does, but... But lying in, in a capital felony investigation is completely different. You remember me, me telling you there's a whole separate stat, statute for it? Yes, sir. Okay. I wasn't lying to you. There's a whole statute, and they're, that no bond, that, that means the state of Florida takes that shit very serious. So I felt like I fully explained everything to you. You just didn't accept it. So when you're sitting down there, However long that you're going to sit, I mean, it's, 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 it's also out of my hands because if you had told me the truth in your probation office, we, we would be done. Now you have to overcome this, and you have to come over, you have to get over your violation of probation. So, you know, when you sit down there, it's all on you. What was your original charge? It's, it's still in cars. Oh. How, what was your, what was your, um, what'd you get for that? Like, I was on 18 month probation. Yeah, but what did you get? What was your original, oh, that's what it was originally? It was 18 month probation? Yeah. So now you violated that. So you just, but I had to, but I had to sit like six or seven months. Oh, you did? And then got an 18 And then you probation. got 18 months. Did you do the six or seven months? Yeah. No. And then I had to get on a probation. How old are you? 19, 20. Just, just keep in mind, 
you know, I know that people don't like the the police. I I get that, but you know, you can't you can't go around lying. You got to you, be careful who you hang out with. Yeah, you would have been better off saying I don't want to answer that that lie. But when you lie, you're done. All right, hang on tight here. Mr. Michael Field. I gotta pee. Was it, I, get, I get in the bathroom? Uh, yeah, just let, let me hand, 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 hand come you first. I gotta pee bad. How you gonna do this with the cuffs on? Yeah, that was just tell. That was that was not gonna do. Trying to tell you how to use the bathroom. Okay, I I thought I thought you were trying. No, I was trying to do that. I was trying to do. Like what you like? Hmm? Like with like with um, little charge. So that they're charging me with. You're charged with accessory after the fact of first degree murder, and providing false information in the capital felony investigation. Those are your two charges coming from, from from me, Miss Gwendolyn. Uh, what's her last name? Um, I think Officer. That's my probate officer. Yeah. I think Lana Green. Yeah, Officer Green is vi violating your probation. So, you have those two things going on now. So, I said they're violating me. Because you have a new charge. When you have a new charge, you know, the charge coming from, from your lion. Yeah. Any new charge is a violation of your probation. And then, that, and then for, the little, for, this for this charge, they don't know like how long I get or anything. That's not up to me. Now, you know, it was up to me until I had to go get an arrest warrant for you. So, I mean, but now it's in the court's hands. So, I, I guess it depends on what. So, like, in, like, even, like, with that charge in the court, in the courtroom, you don't know, like, like, how long they give me for that charge? Or? Oh, you can get up to 25 years. Yeah, 25 years. In fact, it's essentially the first degree murder. That's, that's serious. So, if I get it, so if I get a lawyer that still ain't going to do nothing because, like, they just charged me with something like I, on. I like, can't give you advice on on lawyers and all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, cause but like how, cause like how I was trying to say it, like that was my grandma was telling me like if they if I ain't if I ain't do anything with it like uh I'm inside the murder I did like I did the murder or something yeah. then that mean like she told me I get I didn't get a lawyer for it. Right, and I would tell you that if you had gave me all that information in the beginning, I would not have even come close to charging you. All my charges come from you giving false information. And by you giving false information, you were helping in the murder. You were helping Miguel and other people. Good. Miguel took part of that murder. All right? I didn't know that, though, like, talking okay. on the news. Okay. But Miguel took part of that murder. So when you lie and don't tell me that Miguel was in that car that we know was used in the murder, you're helping him. You're helping him get away. 
That's why you're charged with accessory after the fact. You may not have known that he was involved in the murder, but I told you that this was a murder investigation. So by you helping him, that's why you got charged with accessory after the fact. Hey, my grandma, just, my grandma just having a conversation about this too. Like she tell me like, uh, uh, like, if I ain't got nothing to do with the murder, then I mean like, I, I know. And if you had set you behind down and told me the very first moment, then, then that's one thing. But 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 but, but you still still continue to, to lie after speaking to to your grandma. All right, you know just like I don't like. You know, I, I saw I saw you looking at the cameras. Yeah, that's what I said. So you, so you know it was videotape and you know it's audio tape. I, how do you think that's gonna look when you when you're like, no, I I wasn't up there, and I present your your phone where you used your your GPS, and I present the the um, uh, Nicholas Ford sat in that very seat just yesterday, and told me the whole story, and 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 then you sit here and you go, wasn't me, wasn't me, officer. Wasn't me. I mean, just just, just keep like, on thinking. Like I'm trying to tell you, like it went like with the stolen cars. I ain't the one that like went up down with the stolen cars and this I and know. that. That's I know. One, like, I I I I know that, and I and get then that. I, and then if I know like it was gonna be connected to a murder or something, that's when I was like, I told you it was connected to a murder. Nah, like I'm saying, like we went, like we went there to get the cars. Yeah. Like, I ain't never know, like right. It was going, it was going for a murder. You feel me? Like to see what, like that's crazy. And that's why I sat you down. And I, I took a few minutes to explain to you this is a murder investigation, and I told you about how the line of the murder investigation is completely different. I, I, I wish to explain that to, to everybody, and I probably told you, I explained this to you because people just don't understand that, because I, I do get that. You know, if you lie to a police officer, like, other, this, like this right here, I ain't never been like, like in, in something like this. All right. Well, I mean, it's, it's unfortunate, but. You know, I, I will do everything I can to help you out because all I wanted was the truth. Please, because, like, this like this what, like this the most but, hurt thing right now. But, but, but keep in mind, uh, other officers come to, to talk to you. I mean, it's, it's, it's wrong and all that kind of stuff. When homicide comes to talk to you, we don't give up. We don't just say, okay, well, he, he must be telling the truth. No. No, this is what homicide does. We keep going until we get the uh, truth. And, like and and you if you have to sit here in handcuffs and then go to jail for the next five or six or eight or eight years for me to get the truth then then, then, then that's what it takes all right but they, they have separate laws just for for homicides where you know this ain't about stealing cars someone got shot and killed and that's you and a, you, I know where you coming from with that, you but helped them you I, helped them I know you coming from with that but like if I know if I know there was gonna be something like they was stealing car just to go do a murder with it, then that's like that's different. Like I ain't never know there was what was going on like with the situation. Right. So that's why that's like that's crazy. Okay. Now I'm gonna tell me. Check check this out. When you knew knew the male, that Miguel got arrested for murder, you knew that he was up there with you in Ocala stealing cars, and you knew that a homicide detective was calling you and trying to get in contact with you. Why'd you still come up here and lie? That, that, like, like, but when you, when you said that I know Miguel coming up there, uh, there with us, but I ain't never know, like, like when we was in the car, he never mentioned something like, oh, I'm finna go do this, I did. Yeah. I, like, and I get that. He, he, he probably didn't. But that's what and, I'm saying. Like, and I'm not, I'm not saying that's that. That's what put me, yeah. that would put me in a messed up situation just by somebody else doing, right. just by some, me taking. If I, if I thought that you knew that he was going to use that car in a murder. I didn't know. I know, that's I, know, crazy, I, know but, like, I know, but uh, listen, if I thought that you knew, that you knew that he was going to do that, I would charge you what's called principal to first degree murder. Means that you didn't do it, but you knew that it was going to happen. This is different. This is accessory after the fact. You knew that Miguel committed a murder. Well, I'm sorry. What's I told you that that Miguel was involved in the murder, and I was trying to do that. That that car. That car was used in the murder. You know, you can't you, you can't tell me that you weren't there. So, so like, so like what? So like what's assess accessory? You right. accessory that basically means that you helped him try to get away with murder, but by you lying about Miguel not being there and that car was used in in the murder just hours after. That's you helping him, 
It's called un unwittingly. It means that you didn't really know all the pieces. Like, yeah, like I ain't really like. But I ain't know, I ain't even like how I'm gonna tell you. I ain't even know they was like going on like for them to go do a do a murder in the car or anything like that. That the only thing was like that's the only thing I get to me because like how they make the scene like. I like I'm the one that connect like I did the murder or something, you feel me? Yeah. That would and that would hurt me the most because <laughs> if I know if I know somebody was going going to get going to steal a car just to go connect go do a murder in it, then like that's <coughs> like, they ain't even had to put I would never even like went down that way or anything. Right. Just like that cause like nah nah I'm nah I'm in this situation right here and I'm already on probation and everything. Okay, well let let me ask you this. I saw in in your phone where you used your GPS to go to other car car dealerships. Were, were y'all out there still in other cars too? Uh uh. That was the only one. That's the only dealership we went to. Okay. Your like GPS. The other, like the other car dealership, it was like, I think it was like security or something. Your your GPS showed one in Brevard County. No, I ain't never put in Brevard. Okay. Are your fingerprints gonna show up on on that white car? No sir. Cause you know we got that white car from out out back of Nicholas House. Yeah. Do you know that? Yes, sir. When 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 did you hear about that? Like, when I only like I, went, I think I went through that. One, I think I was driving through that. My grandma had a car with my grandma, and I seen the tow truck like calling the tow truck. Yesterday? Yeah, I think it was yesterday. Okay. We were going to my grandma's house. Cause that's what Nicholas is in jail for now, cause he was in possession of the stolen car. He's not he's not in jail for for any of this stuff. He's in jail for. For having a stolen car in his backyard, so did did you help to take 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 that car apart? No, sir. Okay. Your fingerprints should not my be fang, even on fang, that white car. My fingerprints ain't nowhere on that no on that one of them cars. Like I'm just gonna be real with you. My fingerprints ain't nowhere on no cars. Okay. I also know that everyone in your group wears gloves. Yeah. <laughs> so. So my fang, like my wait, fingerprints did, ain't no Did no you cars. even come close to touching that white car? No, sir. Even I with even, even with gloves on. Yes, yeah, sir. Like I ain't never even get to like go up on the car. Uh, either old bro drive me somewhere, drop me off somewhere in the car. I like, know, I know the consequences. So you wasn't in that blue car or that white car. No sir. Cause like how 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 like how it is. Like, I'm just like even with even with any stolen car, I'm not finna just go ahead and just be like, oh, I'm finna go ahead and drive in this car with him, or we finna go right here in this car. Cause I know the consequences. Of it. Now the car had the only way, the same reason I got messed up and went to jail. But, GT unit. But but you threw, you 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 drove a stolen car up. To go steal cars, like ain't like I drove a stolen car to like to drop them off and let them like y'all go ahead and go get y'all what y'all get if y'all don't come back then that's what, y'all. What'd you do with that with that stolen truck? Like I gave it back to them to to the twin and them okay. so they get they so they get their car and go. So what, I, every time I, tell, I don't know what they do with it. They already know like every time I get some every time they go somewhere we go somewhere we can even go to a club hang out and after that I tell y'all drop me off at the house. They already know me. I'm not finna just be. All like driving in those stolen car at night time, kind of know how to what charge what that is. Mm -hmm. That's how I got that how I got messed up just by that like late night driving in stolen car. Don't know it's don't know it's um, undercover cars following us mm -hmm. to where we going and everything. So that's why I like. Who who originally arrested you with that? Orange County. Um, no, I was in Polk County. Oh, Polk County. Oh, so you're on probation from Polk County. Yeah. Oh, you don't mess around and poke, I was poke on him. I was on probation like I was on probation and like they put me on probation down there but I had to get my probation switched switch, down here. Switch down there, yeah. So if I get it switched down here I'm I'm gonna still have to go to Polk County? I don't know. That's what, like I don't know cause they switched cause like how they did they switched I was on like when I got out of um, Polk, Polk County, they told me I had to go ahead I had to, like if I ain't standing there in Polk County I had to switch my probation down here. Mm-hmm. So if I switch my probation down here, it's still, it's, I should be like on probation down here, right? Uh, Polk I, County. I, I'm never gonna lie, I, I don't know. It's crazy, but like, with this what's going on. Me and my grandma just decided I had to talk about this too. Is that is that your mom at, at the house too? Uh-uh. Who was that? Which one? I saw your grandma. She was living there, but she's an older gal. Yeah, that's my grandma. No, no, no. I, the other I, one. The yeah, other one. That's my auntie. 
Oh, your, your auntie, because she, yeah, that's she, my mama's sister. That's my mama's okay, youngest sister. Because she said my mom, my mom, my mom. I didn't know that that was that was your mom or your auntie. Yeah, that's my auntie. That's my that's my mama, youngest sister. Yeah, she don't like me. And I'm like my grandma, like my grandma, like my grandma. When we counted, my grandma was telling me like, oh yeah, the man been, the man been keep coming here like you know like cause my grandma ain't never been like until now like this like what's going on right now. Mm -hmm. So she told me like I'm gonna talk to the man and everything cause. Like, I can't keep like I can't just keep doing this when they keep coming to the house and doing all that. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, bro. Like my grandma just my grandma had just talk, me and my grandma just had to talk when she was dropping when she was dropping me off and I was sitting in the car talking to her. Officer Green had some very nice things to say about you. She, you know, she 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 liked you. She felt bad. For your situation, because I guess you were sleeping on the couch. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she kind of felt bad for you. I mean, she actually like liked you. I thought. Like hot, like it was even when I was just, like when I was in school, my mom had kicked me out of the house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, this 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 is what I'm gonna tell you, man. You yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're 20 years old, right? You're 20 years old. You're responsible for the rest of your life. You got to change, or you or you will spend the rest of your life in prison, or you end up dead. Even my even my grandma, that was always that was always to my grandma. I'm gonna get a job, so I go ahead and help you do what I gotta do. Well, when you get out of all all of this mess, you need to look at your life and go, I don't want this. I don't want this life. You you are in charge of your own destiny. You are in charge of your own destiny. The only reason why you're sitting here now is because of you. Not not because of Miguel, not because of, of Ray Ray, not because of Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, or Mike. You're sitting here because Keone. Right? How, how do you say your name? Keone. Keone. You're sitting here because of Keone. That's, that's it. All right, and seriously, if you didn't lie to us, you would be home. Like, this just hurt me, like. Okay, but this is what I'm telling you. Been, ain't, like, I ain't never been into nothing like this, like. Right. Well, let me tell you this. I've been doing this job for 25 years, and I say this to a lot of people, and I don't know if it ever works, but listen to, listen to what I'm telling you. Remember this feeling. Remember this feeling right now. You in handcuffs with the detective standing over top of you telling you that you might be going to prison for 25 years. Remember this feeling. And then next time you go out there and you think about doing something stupid, remember this feeling. Because if you remember this, you know, you, I think that you learned enough to, f according to what you said, that you'll be in a stolen car, but you won't be in a stolen car right around after midnight. What you need to do is switch that to, my behind ain't gonna be in a stolen car at all. Like that, like that was my like that was my last time being in the store in the car. Okay. Even my even come my grandma always tell me, like you know what you just got you know what you just got out of Polk County for stolen cars. So what's the point of you if you go to jail for a stolen car, what you going back to do the same thing again and go back to jail? That's crazy. Alright, well. Yeah. Man, like this, what I'm getting. Like, I'm getting charged. I'm getting charged with uh, session money. No, no, like I don't even know. So I gotta go. So I gotta go to thirty third just for this right here. Yes. And then once I go to thirty third, they don't know. Like, like I ain't going to. Like, I'm gonna have a court or something like that. You will have first appearance. First appearance will be tomorrow. Um, judge will review the paperwork, review what's going on with with you, and then make that determination. And then it, and then they got no bond. Yes, it has a no bond status. Yes. I, again, you know, that's because, I, and I I don't mean to make light on stealing cars. I I, yeah, I like but but if you if you have stealing cars and you lie. Okay, they, yeah, it, it's bad, but, 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 whatever. But we're talking about someone who lost their life. You can't get that life back. You can get a car back. Yeah, but you, like but, how? But you, but you can't get a life back. So, 
the state of Florida takes that extremely serious. Yeah, like even go even go much here tell me like, oh, it probably like it ain't it, ain't, it probably don't got nothing to do with the murder. It probably got something to do with the cars. So that's already probably trying to let you know like what's going on with the cars and something like that. Yeah, so I'm very honest it. with you. I can't charge you with stealing cars. If I could, you would be charged now because I, you know, you just told me that you took part of stealing cars. I can't charge you. It, it happened in Ocala. My my jurisdiction is the city of Orlando. You, you can tell me all day long, I stole cars in Brevard County, I stole cars here, I stole cars there. I can't charge you with, with, with any of that. Who, whose idea was it to go, to go like, why, why that place? Because they, they, they keep the keys on the outside? I, I think that's how they got the key, like, when they get her out the window. Yeah, but how do you guys know that they kept the key on the outside? I mean, that's, that's an hour, hour and ten minutes away. What? Why that place? I don't know. It's just like they jump on, like they get on the road and they go to drive in different places and then around by. But your, but your GP, you you type that into your GPS going up there. I I see when you put it in there. So you drove up there to go find that place. Why? Why that place? Did someone already know that they had the keys on the outside? Yeah, like they probably like they. Like I think now they know, like they know some. Like even when I'm driving in the car, I don't be on my phone to type in. I tell somebody, y'all go ahead and look us, look it up. Who, Where y'all going at? Who? But they they got hit again after that, and right before that. Did you take take part of that? No sir. Do you like know that who, first? Do you like know that, who who did? No sir. Like that time. Uh, I, come on. I, I, I don't, promise. I, don't I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like that that first that um when we had just got them when they just got them car. That was my first time ever going down there, like going to okay. going down there to get. And I cars. believe that you didn't, but someone else knew about that place. Who who knew about that place? I don't know who went down there next time. I ain't, man, come on, I ain't gonna. If you're gonna lie to me, man, I'm not. Nah, I promise, I promise, I put it somewhere. I can't I put, charge you anyway. Like, I'm just somewhere, asking. Like this on my granddad, like ain't ain't even like the second, like whoever hit it second, I ain't never know nothing about that. I just went that first time we ever went. That was my last time. That was my who, first time who going down there. Who think hit it second though? I don't know who hit the sack. I just know about I just know about that time. Like that time we first went down there, when we had when they had just got them two cars, that one that was the only time I ever went down there the first time. Okay, I get you. But out of the all the people in, in the group there had been someone said, I know this place up in Ocala. I mean, there's there's a reason why you guys drove yeah, up to Ocala. Who's, I ain't even who, like I don't even know brain, whose brainstorm was it? Oh come on. Like, like it was remember, it had remember, remember that feeling? Yeah, remember that feeling I told you about? Be like, like they had probably even like the one, like who I would, they probably had to go ahead and be like, oh yeah, I probably gonna go down this way again and nope. go down there. It wasn't but five, less than five minutes ago, you sat there saying, man, I don't want this shit to happen no more. This is bullshit, and uh, you know. And I, t I, I told you, I told you, remember that feeling, right? Yeah. I remember that feeling. It ain't been but five minutes, and, and you're already lying to me. No, I like, I don't know, like, I don't know about the second time they got. Okay, I'm not expecting that. Who the idea was it to drive up there? It was who that was. Cause we were supposed to go to Wildwood, and then that was somebody. That was somebody like, oh yeah, I think I was the other one. Them, they were like, we finna go. To, we finna go try Ocala, and I was there going through Ocala, and then we were just driving through there, or driving. I don't know. They like, they turned to look. They like, bro, they got they got a box on the window. Yeah, but you typed in the Luca Toyota in your phone to to get the GPS. Nah, they they typed whoever when I was in the car. They, I let I get on my phone so they could type it in. So they go on Google. When they go on Google, they'll type in like a dealer, like a car dealership somewhere, and then they'll click it in, then click for the directions, and then go to whatever, whatever one closer or something like that. So I was like, I don't know, not to get nobody on my phone again. We driving somewhere. They type in everything. I'm oh, gonna just talk to him about this too. Like they try to connect you to something, all you gotta do is get you a lawyer. Yeah, well, yeah. A lawyer a lawyer work with this torch? Oh yeah. Well yeah, yeah, that's 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 what lawyers do. If if uh, if you uh, t tomorrow first appearance, if you can't afford a lawyer because you, you ain't working, right? No, nah, but my grandma but my grandma and mom, they already told me and my uncle they say anything they're gonna have to get you a lawyer. Right right, I mean, but you would probably have to get assigned a public D Defender. Um, the the good news is, the public defender has some excellent attorneys. They're they're really the top of the line. 
Come with, right. oh, with your charge of accessory to first degree murder, they're going to give you a really good attorney. So, so you're going to get one of the the uh, good ones, and they're they're going to work work with you. This is what I would tell you. Go in there and be honest with your attorney and tell tell them everything. All right, don't 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 try to give so them like that, that bullshit that like you gave public, me. Like public defender already know like if they good like a like a they lawyer. They are like but think about this. You have there there are two types of public de defenders. There are the people who just got out of law school and they're looking for a job. Yeah. Do you know what kind of cases did they did they get assigned? Uh -uh. Traffic and misdemeanor and all that 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 stupid shit. In order to get to work the murders and the and the high crime stuff, you have to be at the public de defender's office for a long time. Who's going to stay at the public de defender's office? Now they probably paid about two hundred thousand dollars to to go to, to go to law school, yeah. and they're working for the public defender's office, probably making seventy thousand dollars a year, which sounds like a lot a lot of money to to you. But they could go out and do a private practice and make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. These people are good because they, they stick around, they know the system, and they're good at what they do. And they choose, they choose to stay at the PD's office because they want to help people like you. People like you who, who just screwed up. Um, so, you, know, so you, I, you made a silly mistake and they, and they want to make your life better, so you can go out here, remember that feeling, and not fuck up again. All right. So the people that you're going to end up with are, are going to be really good because they they want to be there and they're good at what what they do. All right. So Just don't right. lie to them. All right. Hey, you're our transport here. Just give me a minute. All right. Hey, I'm sorry. Fork. Go ahead and turn around. Go. Oh. Uh, they're as loose as they're going to get because it's they're two fingers apart. Just want to get that caught up. real quick just because I don't know you from anybody else all right if you have anything tucked up like in your socks or your underwear okay, you're, gonna go through a, you're gonna go through a scanner so I don't want you to catch an extra charge for something stupid okay right. so a little bit of weed turns into like a felony when you get to jail all right good for you again I don't know you from nobody so just ask him we'll say that to everybody that's all all right boss man oh. 